Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another exceptionally impressive ship. This one is called the Brigantine Space Sailing Ship, which is inspired by Treasure Planet. And it's this lovely thing that I'm currently standing on. So this is a fairly large, I say fairly large because there's a bigger one in the background, spaceship that features a bunch of assault turrets, we've got angled thrusters, we've got a full on interior, and one hell of a lot of solar panels make sure you've got enough power to drive this thing around for a nice long time. But if this is not up to your standards, if this is too small for you, as you can see the actual size compared to the engineer at the front there, there is one a lot bigger. So turning around, there is a galleon, if you want to have even more firepower and even more room to run around. We're not going to be looking at this one because unfortunately, getting close to it, as you can probably see, the frame rate is slowly dropping. And it'll get even worse as I were to move around the ship, on the inside and all that before the shadows. So we're simply going to leave this in the background. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to use this one instead. Now we're going to turn our attention back over to the Brigantine. And we'll press F10, find it in the spawn menu, have a look around the outside. Then we're going to give it to the Space Pirates, drive it around and let it blast the Galleon in the distance. So pressing F10 and finding this in the spawn menu, the Space Sailing Ships. The Brigantine is 2,117 large blocks using pretty much all the DLC packs. The Galleon right next to it is a bit bigger, coming in at 6,264 large blocks, also using pretty much all the DLC packs. And we can see at the top there is inspired by Treasure Planet, and we also have a nice lot of information about it if you want to read it. So anyway, giving both of these a thumbs up, we we'll move around towards the very front of the Brigantine, we'll have a look around the outside, go for the tour, and like I said, we'll give it to the Space Pirates and see what we can do. So at the very front, we're going to be looking at the bottom of the ship first of all. What we can see is an ore detector, so you can use this to go out and about and scout for ore patches in asteroids. But just below there, we've got some interior pillars acting as some decoration, and at the very front of the main body, we've got the first of a couple of iron thrusters to boost us around in space. As for the body, we see one hell of a lot of great work being put in by our heavy and light armoured wooden blocks. we also got a bunch of rusted blocks going along the middle along the bottom, as well as a few piston heads, a few road heads, and some cylindrical columns, is adding us a bit of decoration. On the side right there, we've got ourselves a assault turret, which is our main form of defence all the way around the ship. We've only got a couple on here, unlike the galleon in the background, which has got one hell of a lot lining up the top deck. But on the centre of the main body, we see even more iron thrusters, even more piston heads, just acting as those little flaps that would cover up the cannons on a traditional pirate ship. We can see just above that a little arm that's going to swing all the way around to allow you to dock up to a station, dock up to another ship, unload or load up any kind of cargo. Then moving towards the back, we're going to see the first of a few angled thrusters, which is our large hydrogen thruster. With a look on the side, we can see we're using both our industrial and our vanilla hydrogen thruster skins, but that's how that's been set up with just rotors angling it from the top. Only away from there, we've got a little bit of our hazard skin blocks. There's another assault turret. There's some windows at the back there in your captain's quarters. At the very back of the Brigantine, we've got another large hydrogen thruster, as well as a few more ion to push us around. And then a few more windows peer inside at our living quarters or captain quarters, whatever you want to call it. Then just very quickly, we'll skim along this side. It can be exactly the same. But there's our turrets. There's our piston heads. There's our ion thrusters. We don't have an arm wing on this side. Instead, we've got ourselves a little interior turret just to fend off any kind of borders trying to get on. There we are at the front. Dropping down and coming underneath it, we can see our road head on both sides. Another angled hydrogen thruster. Then right underneath there, we've got another hazard skin block. Just a singular one. Add a bit of decoration. Another hydrogen thruster to move us up. There's another assault turret. Even more hydrogen thrusters. Then towards the back there, a heat vent. We can see our large hydrogen tanks. There's a large hydrogen thruster at the back. Now we can move all the way up and take a look at our sails. The sails have been done very much like the arm and core solar panels that I showcased not too long ago, where we can see our shiny blue disco skin just merging in with all our solar panels to try and make it look like it's all one solid piece. So at the back, that's what that looks like, just one hell of a lot of solar panels working all the way up. And right in the middle, we've got ourselves a wooden pillar with a ladder that I get all the way up and above for our crow's nest, which has a antenna on top. Looking towards the front sail, that's how it's been set up. So we do have a slight curve at the front there with some more solar panels on it. And around towards the front sails. There we go, it's a very similar setup. Got a ladder going all the way up. And even more solar panels and blue disco blocks. And then for our front sail, it just comes along to that part that I'm currently standing on. Which is another angled piece, once again in our wooden block. 
fart wall detector on the end. And there we go, that's a very brief look around the outside of the Brigantine space sailing ship. And it looks bloody fantastic how it's all been set up. Anyway, grabbing hold of my character, I suppose we can start at the very front here. We now walk all the way down to this front section, where we can see our hinge, how that's been angled. But what we've got is a bunch of freight crates you saw a few bits and bobs inside. But as we were to move along, we will see a couple of iron thrusters, so it might get a bit toasty if you're not watching your step. There's a ladder to go all the way down. We'll come back to that a bit later. Just wandering around here, that is how the sails look from down here. It feels it feels like I'm very insignificant compared to this whole thing with the sheer size of it. We just come around here first of all, not down the steps. We can see a large hydrogen thruster on top. That's going to be a very dangerous place to stand. As we see how the arm has been set up, we've got a few rusted blocks, a few regular grey blocks, and just comes along to the steel block, and it will swing around with a click of a button, allow you to dock up. If you were to continue along, there's our interior turret for a bit of defence. Now we need to come all the way back to our steps and move down to the lower floor. Coming all the way down, we've got a few access points in the floor in the form of our cargo containers. There is our hygiene thrust that we saw from the top there. And yes, that's going to be very toasty standing here. And looking around, there's a button. This is going to be for our swing arm where we can click that. That's now going to swing all the way out, find the free camera. And that's all it looks like. So it's a very simple thing and it just allows you to dock up without risking damage to anything on the side of the ship. We've got a ladder on the side so we can easily get up to that interior turret if we do need to restock it with ammunition. Looking around and looking up, I do love those cells just looking up. And just looking down once again, another access point in the floor. Some more freight crates in the blue and red colouring. Looking down, we can see our gravity generators, so we're not going to float away anytime soon. Looking up our other sail. There we go. Anyway, moving across, we've got some doorways to go inside. We do have another button here, which is going to be for our rotor, but we can click that. That's going to reverse our arm once again. Pressing that again, now come all the way back. As for the other two buttons, we've got one here that does nothing. We've got one above it, where we press that, that's going to open up our treasure chest and reveal to us a small little plushie, as well as some small cargo containers where we can store some very important stuff. Anyway, coming out of that, we can press that once again to make sure that plushie is nice and protected. Sitting right behind it, another cargo container and a locker on the side. She's hiding her HUD once again, we'll come up these steps, all the way around. Now we can walk the plank and fall to our doom. Yes, this is what it looks like on the side with my light on. And there we go. Now coming all the way back through, ignoring any kind of lag spikes because Windows has decided to update as per usual when I start recording. We now come up these steps, another interior turret. Then all the way up here, we're going to get to our helm to drive this thing around. Behind there will be a few windows peered down inside our captain's quarters, where we can see a control seat which we can use to drive this thing around. But behind here, it's not too much to talk about, but I suppose you could use this as cover, so if you got boarded by an enemy, you could duck behind here and try and hide, and of course, buy yourself some time to reload your weapons. So you're standing up, what we're gonna do is head towards the front, and we're gonna go down through there. I'm not sure that's gonna take us all the way towards the back, I'm hoping it is, but I might be getting confused with the galleon sitting right next to me. So there is the way down in between our iron thrusters, just dropping all the way down, and to our left and to our right, we've got weapon lockers, but it does not look like we can go towards the back here. That's my mistake. But what we've got instead of that is a holding cell where we've got an engineer who's unfortunately been left to rot inside. Does he have anything in his backpack? No, he does not. But it looks like he does have a bit of luxury in the form of a sofa. Anyway, hopping out of that and close that, just in case he decides to reanimate and wreak havoc on the ship. So jetpacking all the way up. There we go. Now that you come back to where we just were, past all of this, past our hydrogen thruster, past our freight crates, all the way towards this doorway, opening it up. We now got a double door, so we do have a nice sealed inside. Opening that up, closing that up once again, and this is what we get. So this is our living quarters where we've got a corner sofa, we've got a little table, to our left our cooking and food utilities. So there's our little cooking thing, there's our little clan curl dispenser, and there is our lab table with a refinery in the background. We also got a survivor kit to respawn on and recharge itself. Looking down is a air vent. Then looking across, we then got a vending machine from some clan cola with a toilet that's quite exposed. I suppose you're going to be sitting here and everyone's going to see what you're doing. Anyway, coming up these steps, what do we have? A bunch of beds lining the room, another armory locker, and a nice little place for your crew to sleep in. Coming back down, all the way around, then got a little step to go all the way up. And this, if we turn around, going to take us to the little place that we saw at the very back. So there's the windows that we peered down from, the helmet should be right there, 
and our little cover area should be right above that. So we've got three seats to sit in and we've got some LCD screens. So if you wanted to, you could put a script on here for your power control and your interior storage. So you've got a constant display of what's going on. As for the rest of the room, not too much to talk about. So we're just going to get into this seat, get into this seat, then into the centre seat. And this is all we can see. But as for that, that's that for the outside, that's that for the interior. So it's time to drive this thing around and see how it handles. So moving forwards, this is what we get. We are quite slow, but it does suit this size of ship. It does suit what it's trying to portray. So we are going to be not going too fast. We're not really an agile fighter, not really a big battleship. We are just a space sailing ship. Coming to a stop, it feels about the same as moving forwards. And we just about have the gyroscope controls to do 180 to slow ourselves down a bit quicker by utilizing that large thruster at the back. Moving left and move right. Not too bad speed with that. We are being helped out by the large thrusters underneath. Moving down and then moving up, moving up. We've got one hell of a lot of speed and it's faster than everything else on this ship. As for gyroscope controls, we can't really see it too much. I'll zoom out. I'll bring the sun back around so we can get a better view of what's going on. We've got a nice amount of control over this. It does have a nice bit of meat on here. It's very heavy to move and certainly suits the size of the ship and what it's trying to betray. And here we go. I've now given this to the space pirates. We can see they have engaged with me. There goes our assault cannons. There goes their assault cannons. Now blasting into the cells. I'm going to try and turn around just a little bit. And there we go. I have a very bad feeling. Oh god, there comes one of their volleys. First person view, that's what that looks like. Now I'm going to put our damage on. Move down just a little bit. It seems like our interior turrets are doing most of the work. So we don't have many assault turrets on this. But if we were to broadside that, we will get ripped to shreds very quickly. Because they have one hell of a lot of guns on there. On the top and the bottom. We see all the sparks flying out there. Look at that. And we are being torn to shreds. I'm going to try and move this around a bit more. Try and get to the front of that because it has a lot less gun to on the front. Should probably go for the back. And, well, to me, this feels very much like Owls Online. If you ever played that game with the spaceships, I can't remember what they're called, astral ships, I think there were. PvP on that was basically like this. Big old spaceships, big old space sailing ships with guns firing into each other, moving up and down. That was quite a lot of fun. I don't know what happened to that game. But yes, we are being torn to shreds. This thing is just slowly falling to pieces. We can see all of their interior touches pummeling into us. Look at that. And we are doing a very good job at actually surviving. I'm very impressed with how this thing is actually taking all the hits. But look at all those particle effects coming from the side there. I believe we lost our side hydrogen thrusters. Yes, we have. We're now going to turn all the way around. We can see most of our solar cells have gone. There goes our hydrogen tank. That's absolutely gone. What kind of damage has that dealt underneath it? Yeah, it looks like our internals have been absolutely destroyed. Now I'm going to very carefully try and move around onto the side to see if I can finish this. The game has completely frozen. I'm not sure what's going on. It's caught up just a little bit. It might be Windows trying to update, actually. But the game is not liking this. And here we go. Moving around onto the side. It's going to be very bad to exceptionally close. First person view. We see blocks flying everywhere. And down we come. There is our interior turrets. There goes their assault cannons all the way onto the side. And well, this is just a bad, bad day for me. As for that, that's pretty much it for both of these space sailing ships. There'll be a link to them in the description below if you wish to download and play around with yourself. I highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.